got quite involved in the camp and um, I guess you could say I took on a quite a range of different tasks um, a lot of the kind of logistics work of kind of setting up the site or getting getting things organized to set up the site and dealing with some of the money and uh, facilitating and uh, a bit of everything really I think you could say. There's a few different things kind of trying to come out of it. Um, there's kind of some main main aims of the camp I guess you could say. Um, I, the first would be um, education and so that's why we try and have like a, a quite a broad range of, of workshops and different um, things happening in the program, everything from kind of DIY stuff, learning people, uh, teaching people how to, um, you know, uh, certain practical skills or, or teaching about, you know, vegan cooking or what have you. And then um, uh, along with that, you have uh, um, direct action. Um, really, it's trying to be a kind of accessible space, but a space that pushes uh, pushes people to feel more comfortable and maybe cross boundaries and, and get involved in direct action, especially if they've never done that before. Um, so really, really trying to make direct action accessible and, and make people understand why it's a good and important tactic. Um, <clears throat> and along with that, um, the third kind of main aim, I guess you could say, is uh, uh, sustainable living or kind of uh, ideally carbon neutral living. Um, so in everything that we do, we try and kind of do it in the most uh, ecological way that it is possible or feasible. Um, and so therefore we put a big emphasis on things like the, the compost toilets and keeping our water consumption down, composting our food waste, um, cooking vegan at the site, organic as well. Um, and experimenting with other kind of sustainable systems like rocket stoves or grey water systems. Um, and then the final thing, um, and this is like I, one of the really big strengths of, of climate camps in my opinion and having been involved in the camps in the UK and, and seeing some of the other places, um, that would be movement building. Um, so using it as a kind of springing off point for, for further actions and further campaigns and further activities, it's not just about kind of what happens in this week, it's about trying to make connections and get people involved in the longer term. So both bringing new people in and also kind of making connections between people who are maybe doing similar things but in different places and um, seeing how it all links up. So those are the kind of, mm -hmm. uh, for me, the main, the main uh, reasons and, and to be involved in a camp like this. Another aspect of, of the camp is kind of uh, very important as well is kind of the fact that it's, it's completely self-organized self DIY, horizontal, so it's not like there's a, a group of organizers and they're in charge. Um, when, I, when people come to the camp, they're meant to take responsibility for the camp as much as anybody who's been working on it beforehand. Um, and that's, to me, is an important, like, another important part of, like, showing how things could be different. Um, um, so, so along with that goes kind of um, uh, meetings and, and the meetings we have on camp, first of all, are, are um, using consensus, uh, consensus decision-making processes, so um, making sure that everybody has a voice and everybody's voice is heard equally. Um, it's a way to um, avoid kind of a, a, a win-lose kind of situation, which is what happens um, so often with uh, majority voting. Um, and instead trying to uh, come to creative solutions that everybody can um, can can agree on and or if, if they don't if, if it's might not be your your first uh, choice and your favorite choice but um, because you've been included in that process and and you've you've seen where the decision comes from it in my opinion it um, it creates decisions that um, that people are more likely to implement and, and get behind and so things get done um, Along with that, I mean, you know, the fact that it is self-organized means that we maybe do have more, more meetings than, than say, a top-down structure would have. But again, like, people, people are part of that and people feel uh, responsible and part of those decisions. Um, so the way it worked on site is that we, um, we organized into neighborhoods. Um, and the neighborhoods were based on, on different um, kinds of affinity or, or different reasoning. So some people might, might decide to have a barrio or a neighborhood with people that they live near. Other people might have a, an identity like feminist or queer. Um, and then within those, those barrios, um, certain kind of decision making and tasks get, get kind of taken, taken care of and, and, and the groups take responsibility for that. And then there's a kind of um, wider site-wide 
meeting that kind of combines um, people from the barrios um, and also people from um, different task groups, so whether it's mediation or the wa water team or the security team. Um, a number of people will sit down each morning and, and talk things out and come to decisions. And when, when um, the way the structure works is, is not that these are, are representatives and they make decisions on, on the behalf of everybody else, but they're communicating, um, they're communicating what, what the wants or, or needs of, of the neighborhood or the task group are. Um, and I guess you could say they're, the, the neighborhood can empower them to, to take certain decisions or they can serve more as a kind of information kind of conduit. Um, also, they're kind of, um, they're always recallable, so it's not like someone is the representative for the whole camp. You have people rotating through this role and everybody kind of, again, is encouraged to take responsibility for maybe becoming a barrio representative at one meeting or, you know, coming on behalf of a working group they've been getting involved in. And then finally you have plenary meetings um, where, um, especially for the things like the, the mass action are, are really important to have everybody in the room at once and, and kind of thinking these things through together. Um, and it, it can be really empowering to see hundreds of people kind of in one place um, coming, coming to agreements and making plans on something like that. So that's the basic structure, I think. I think direct action is, is, a, is a really empowering thing and it's um, a really important kind of a, um, a democratic right to exercise, I suppose. I mean, you've got a situation where, where the earth is literally kind of burning and um, you've got kind of governments and corporations who are happy to keep keep seeing that happen um, whilst profiting or or you know continuing on benefiting from this kind of business as usual scenario and this is all happening under the guise of, of democratic participation when when in fact you know I think none of us have asked for this and, and so it's so plain to see for most normal people that, that this isn't what should be going on and so instead of you know filling out petitions, going, you know, asking really nice for someone to do something. This is taking control into your own hands and showing that it's not okay. Um, and I think especially with, with an issue, I mean, I think direct action is always a valid tactic, but especially with an issue like this, which is, you know, quite an urgent thing, you, it's really important for people to feel empowered and show and stop things when, when it when it needs to be stopped. I think it went amazingly well. I mean, um, this is the first time that there's been a camp like that this year, and for a lot of people, um, it's the first time they've been involved in the tasks they took on. Um, it's been really amazing to see people who, for example, like never thought of how to build a compost toilet in their life, just like really learn how to do that and take on that role and, and so start coordinating something, for example. Um, and. Uh, it was quite, I think we had a really, a really great diversity of people here and to see everybody kind of working together, people that had never met before, come from quite different backgrounds, um, but still um, really getting along and making things work on, on the site and really kind of uh, picking up this kind of, um, this kind of attitude or, or um, method of kind of doing it themselves and taking responsibility and everybody feeling like they're part of the camp. Um, and also the fact that the, the, the mass action actually was successful, I mean, I think that's pretty great. Um, um, that doesn't always happen with, with events like these. Um, um, so, yeah, I, I think it was really good. I'd like to add something. Get involved in next year's camp.